friends, it's Camille and today I am showing you a hair routine on how you can dry your hair really quickly, get really nice defined curls, which a lot of curly girls, including past me, are always worried about when it comes to blow drying. So I used to air dry my hair and it would take five to six hours to dry. But I've since been converted because of one tool, and that is the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer. This is one of the most well-known blow dryers in the past two years that everyone raves about because of how good it is on curly hair and just how nicely it works in general. And I've always wanted to try this, especially after I've seen a few curly YouTubers using it in their hair. But the Dyson gods have answered my prayers and gave me my own Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer. And they are also sponsoring this video, so thank you so much, Dyson. And to my sister, Victoria, Victoria, I know you're watching this. You are not the only one in the family to have one of these. So anyways, let's move on to the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to go from wet hair, what to do as far as products and methods and how to use the dryer, what to do after, and how to get really nice defined hair that doesn't take a long time to dry and doesn't change your curl pattern. So let's get this party started! Woo! So I'm starting out with wet hair. You're going to wash your hair condition like normal. Do your leave-in conditioner and I always start with a part because it's too late to part it later. So you always part it when it's wet and you still want your hair to be wet but just enough where when you're in the shower, you pull, you squeeze out the excess water and then leave it that amount of wet. So I'm gonna use a pump of styling cream which gives you a nice touchable hold. So it's unlike any other like really strong gel that will get flaky if you touch it, especially if you're going to be drying your hair and moving it around. You don't want it to be stiff and start flaking. So I'm going pretty light on this. I'm only using this amount. It's one pump and then I'm going to slowly incorporate it into my hair. I don't even know how to describe what I'm doing, but I like the claw method. You put it on your hands and then you like slightly touch your hair and like get a little bit in it and just kind of spread it out. I know there are better ways to do this, but this is what I like to do. And because I am using the blow dryer to show how quickly you can do your hair from start to dry, uh, this is also more of an authentic way that I do it and it helps cut down on time. So that is what we are doing. <laughs> and I just like to kind of slick it in, blend it in. There we go. And then it's just always a good practice to use before you're doing any type of heat. So I'm gonna spray like a healthy amount into my hair. Um, just kind of like coating all of it back front. Just making sure that I don't miss a spot and all of my hair is nice and protected. So keeping the part intact, I'm going to blend these two products together. And then something that I like to do before blow drying, which is just a little trick that I have, is a finger curl a little bit because I want my hair to be as curly and nice as possible. So in combination with the products, diffuser, and finger curling, you will get the nicest curls. And my little trick to go with the theme of doing your hair faster is only curling the front part of your hair and then around the part. So this is what people are going to see most. They see you front on and then the top of your hair. Um, this just makes those parts like perfectly curly and then the rest of your hair will still do its thing, but that just makes it like a little bit nicer. And I like to do that to trick people into thinking my hair is always perfect. So I think I'm probably going to do a tutorial on how I finger curl just so you can like fully understand how I do it. But for now, I'm just taking little small pieces, twirling it and speeding through that because you don't want to see me doing that for like a solid 10 minutes. Okay, so now that the prep work is all done, it is time to dry my hair. This is the beautiful Dyson Supersonic blow dryer. And the best part about this is it has intelligent heat control and it monitors heat output 40 times every single second, which is absolutely crazy, but very useful because as you guys already know, that's something I'm very concerned about and that's why I tend to stay away from heat. And it also has varying options. So if you have straight hair, wavy hair, curly hair, depending on what you're looking for, you can adjust it. So the heat knob right here has three different settings, low, medium, and high. And then you can also use a cool setting down here. And then it has three different speed settings. So just depending on what your goals are, there are different options. And it has three magnetic attachments 
attachments. These two are more for straightening and like doing blowouts. And then of course the diffuser is for curly hair and a softer blow. So that's the one I'm gonna be using. And look at how easy it is to attach. Literally just like that. And it has a really strong magnet so it's not gonna come off. And it's also really easy to just like take it off and then put it back on. So nice job, Dyson. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna start with right now is the lowest heat setting and the lowest power because I wanna make sure that my hair gets minimal heat and also doesn't get blown around as much so I can maintain the curl as best as possible. And of course I'm using the diffuser which is perfect for curly hair so it also can just disperse it gently and not change the curl pattern. All right, here we go. So this is the method that I use. I like to hold the Dyson in one place so I can not only focus on drying that, but also kind of help prevent frizz from moving it around. But if you do want to have a little bit more volume, you can stick it on your roots and kind of move it around there to get that little bit of oomph under the rest of your curls. Um, and I also like to tilt it slightly away from my scalp so the heat isn't directly on my scalp, but it's more on my hair. Also, you can get it at Sephora, and I'll have a link to that in the description box. So once my hair is almost completely dry, I like to use the cold setting because it helps smooth out the cuticle of your hair and just gives it like a nice shine overall. So I'm just holding down the cool setting, and I'm just going to do a once over on my head. That is also like just so calming to your scalp, having like little bits of cool air just push right on your scalp is so nice. So now that my hair is completely dry, just like last minute things, um, I'm going to fluff. So I'm just going to go from the root of my head and just give it a little bit of volume. You can use a pick if you want or like whatever method you like to do, but... I got my fingers right here. Some people like to separate their curls a little bit or to use the diffuser and just rough it up a little um, to add volume that way. Just whatever works for your hair. So right now I just decided if I want to have like my bangs down or if I want to have it to the side. And I'm still trying to figure that out right now. Let's see. All right, and there you have it. I have completely done my hair start to finish using the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer without messing up my curls and just speeding up that drying process. And I'm very happy with the results that I've gotten and the amount of time that I've been saving lately and that I will save in the future will probably add up to years of drying time. So that's another pro. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you wanna check out my other socials, they'll be linked in the description box down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I'll see you in my next video. Kisses. Mwah.